All right, Russos. I mean, you guys gave me a freaking heart palpitations watching this movie. I, <laughs> I, I needed to take a Xanax after watching this because <laughs> I was like, <sighs> so. First, firstly, to Joe, did you enjoy making me feel like that? Joe, what are your thoughts? I mean, look, it was, it, there's certainly an intent to make you go through the experience that he goes through. And, you know, we can't take a, a ton of the credit. It's Holland is so charming and Sierra, uh, their, their performances are so incredible that I really feel like they take people on a ride in this movie. And that's what's causing you that consternation is you just you want to see these things happen to those two people. Um, Anthony, now I asked this question to Tom, but one of the cool parts about this film that I loved are the epic bank heist scenes, because there's nothing like an epic bank robbery scene. <laughs> um, if you were going to take Avenger actors and have them help Tom rob a bank, who's the driver, who's the mastermind, and who's the muscle? Well, the driver. <sighs> We, Joe and I were just talking about Anthony Mackie, so he's all of a sudden popping into my head as, as to uh, an effective getaway ally, uh, because you can always just sort of, if the car becomes complicated, you guys, you can just take off together and fly, which, which is nice. But who's the mastermind? Yeah. Well, clearly Peter Parker, because, you know, we had actually originally pitched the story of Cherry to Kevin Feige as a further adventures of Peter Parker, but he wasn't into it. So we, we ended up changing the name and making it as Cherry. Um, so Peter Parker would be the mastermind. And what's the other one? I'm sorry. Who, who's the muscle? I want oh, to see mu Peter Parker as Cherry now. <laughs> who's the, the muscle? muscle <laughs> the muscle would be, um, would be Zoe Saldana. We got to bring her because she's such a badass. We would, we would, we would bring her along to the party for sure for that. Um, Joe, I want to know how daring you are because in this film, Tom, his Tom's character is very daring. He he literally gives zero fucks. I mean, that's just that's who cha the, this character is. So, in your own life, Joe, what are some of the more daring things you've done? Um, you know, I uh, I'm adventurous. I really like to travel. Uh, I love food and drink. Um, you know, uh, I've uh, it's controversial, I'm sure, but I've run with the Bulls in Pamplona um, uh, a couple of times. Um, you know, we've uh, gone cliff diving, uh, you know, uh, you, you name it. We like to kind of collect experiences. And, um, um, you know, I like, uh, I like intense experiences. Um, Anthony, what is it like making a film without an Avengers style budget. Now, I, I'm, this is no low budget film by any means, but I can't imagine it's the kind of budget that all the gajillion dollars that the Avengers have. So is it refreshing for you guys to kind of go back a little bit and you know, not have unlimited amounts of money? Well, you know, the interesting thing is it's, it is different, but it's not all that different because the truth is, no matter how much money you have to make a movie, at some point you run out of that money, inevitably. So, you know, we, you know, even on the highest budget movies, you, you will get to a point where Joe and I are trying to say, here's what we want to do. And there's somebody going, no, there's nothing left. We can't do it. There's no money left. You know, it basically like you get to that point. So, um, you know, it's kind of this, look, to be honest with you, Joe and I, aren't really, we've worked at so many different budget levels and so many different types of filmmaking from television to features, et cetera. It's kind of all the same to us. It feels all the same. It's really just kind of us dreaming up we wanted, what we want to do and then figuring out how to do it. And, and that process just repeats no matter what we're doing. Final question, Joe. Uh, you know, you work with your siblings. Siblings don't often get along. I just want to know, how do you work with Anthony and not kill him? I mean, he's your brother. Brothers fight. I mean, we have our fights. Along? We have our fights. I think the good. I think part of the reason you see a lot of family working together uh, in the film business is that um, you know family can get in fights and then just forget it the next day. You know where I, I've seen a lot of partnerships that that aren't family get dissolved uh, because I think that the you know the tension that comes from being under pressure, spending a lot of money, having you know actors on set and crew and everything you have to manage um, can uh, can really disrupt a partnership. 
if you don't have that familial bond where, you know, it's just water under the bridge five minutes later. Thank you guys. I love the film. It was awesome. Thank you so much. Thank you, Andrew. Really appreciate that. The interview was a lot of fun. Appreciate it.